Hello, Tilly. Easy there. Easy there, girl. Okay. Whoa. Settle down, girl. Easy there. Whoa, now, easy. If I prick my finger again, I swear I'll just throw this on the fire. I'm happy to swap later if you want. I'm sure Grimshaw would find some problem with that. Well, looks like we'll live to see at least a few more days. Hey, what you get, Javier? Never you mind, old man. Come, have a drink with me. Mr. Strauss, Mr. Morgan, what you been doing? Me? Well, thinking, plotting. So, you know me. Mr. Morgan, whatever did happen with that Mary Gillis? Uh, it all came to nothing, Miss Grimshaw. Mm, that's for the best. Sure, of course. I never did like her very much. Hey, Sean.
Arthur. Um, hello, there he is.
Okay. I may fool myself again. Drink or morphine? Drink. Well, both, but mostly drink. I'm sorry, Reverend. You have always been so kind to me. Well, you saved my life. I won't forget that. That was long ago. You're my family. I may lack your uh, religious convictions, Reverend, but I have my own beliefs. And family, family is very important. Family is all we have. Ain't that so, Arthur? Absolutely. Hey, get up. <coughs> What's going on? Sorry. <laughs> it's too tempting. Where the... Who is... Let How are you sleep. doing? Sleep. How you think I'm doing? I'm sorry. Just let me know if there's anything I can do. Don't forget to go hunting, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, I hear you. Get up and find us some money or find us some guys. Don't you overcook food. this now, Pearson. Jose, thank you, Arthur. Dutch and you says we're supposed to keep a low profile. Are you an imbecile or are you just pretending? Mr. Go rob a house. Or ask some sheriff about a bounty. Shoot a godforsaken animal. I don't care. Do something. Yeah. Sorry. I'll go. Soon. Thank you. Hello, Mr. Morgan. John mentioned this train job. He did. Sounds promising. Yeah. We're getting things set up now. Want the horse's belly aching. You okay? Hey, Arthur. Lady, all good here? <sighs> all fine. Good. Stay alert.
Mr. Morgan. Make a big pot. I'm starving. Start howling at some other moon? Like, like this one? <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching you. <laughs> Whatever you say. <laughs> Delightful, Uncle. Well, he's cracked in the head, that one. You're not? You'll work it out, Dutch. You always do. Parker. Hey, why don't you take the weight off, English? John, let's get on. Good. And you? Got everything we need. Good. I think we need another man. Charles? I'll go get him. Meet us at the wagon when you can. Sure. See you, Arthur. Ain't that dumb. Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. Then you'll be a genius. Hi, Arthur. Come here a minute. What is it? Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. Why? Because I'm your 
preferred nursemaid? Because he lacks you, and, well, you know his father's useless. <sighs> okay. Thank you. What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're right. <laughs> it's about time that you started to earn your keep. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole then. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. I'll mount up and lift you on when you're ready. kid no more. Though your mama might disagree. Her and a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? Uh, I'm just talking silly. <laughs> it's been a tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. Well, I'm sure someone can get you another storybook. Really? When? Well, <laughs> we'll see. Got fish to catch first. All right. This looks as good a spot as any. Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. Can you show me where, Uncle Arthur? Just by the water there? You mean? I can't wait to get started. First, we need some bait. I'm gonna use some cheese. Cheese? Bellier the better. Now, cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. Like that? That's it. Good. All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. If you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. Something's tugging at your rod, Uncle Arthur. Got one, Jack. Fighting there, Jack? That's when you gotta be careful. You, you'll break the line. Best to wear him out first before you try to reel him in. Now, seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna try reeling him in nice and steady. 
Oh, Jack, it's a bluegill. It's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give them a chance to grow up a bit. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. I'm gonna pick some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. Let's try again. This one's a red fin picker. Not bad. Fishing sure is boring, Uncle Arthur. <laughs> I know. Born as her. But then, something happens. And you can get food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just sit and wait. Try not to worry. It's good for you. It's good for you? I guess. Huh. You gotta stick at things, Jack. I know. I think you've got a boat. Look. Whoop, think I got one. Is it a big one? What are you making there? You'll see. It's a surprise. Hey, look at this. Hey, what? This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes. Arthur Morgan. Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case. Orphan street kid seduced by that maniac silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton? Agent Ross, Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. There's $5,000 for your head alone. $5,000? For me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard... A guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn, and you have my word you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent. Uh... Milton. You see... I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not play the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow, but merciful. <laughs> 
You enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid. While you still can. <laughs> Who are they? No one to worry about. No one at all. Come on. Let's pick up your things and get home. It's getting late, Jack. Your mother would be worried. Let's head back. Are you taking me back? Why did you lie about where Uncle Dutch is? Because... Well... Because those are disagreeable men. And I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Mac? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us to protect you from folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. Did you like fishing? It was... okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. It is. <laughs> yeah. You see that there? Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey. You did real fine, kid. Thanks. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named, um... Milton and, uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And, and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Well, you followed back here. No, they know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing, just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm. So you, you saw Pinkertons, did you? Saw, met, and got the full message. Not and so what did good. you think? I think we're in real trouble, but the only way out is forward. I know. That Blackwater business seems to have finished us. Evening, Arthur. Hi, Mulder. 
Mr. Beeson. Evening, Mr. Morgan. Hello, Arthur. My sister got married. She moved away. I, I hope she's safe, but I, I will never know. And what was my crime? Huh? My crime was wanting food and fairness for the people. For that, I have been chased and hunted. I come here. Things are not so very different. Everyone steals, kills, suppresses, lies. All they do better here is make you believe that it's not that way. Hey. Hello, Arthur. Ah, Lenny. ain't supposed to be here. I said hey, go. Elder. Go, get out of here. I ain't here to cause trouble.
least it ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. It ain't winning them. I can scrap, Arthur. I'm just not good at homework. I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I tried to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Shaw doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please. Eh? Grow up. And let me come on the raid, witches. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns. You're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily toward again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> me and the big cheeses love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. Hey, all the horses untethered? We'll never get there at this pace. Think so? Good. They should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. They see this block in the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently, picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so... Shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. See? This is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a brain. Ha ha ha. You're a funny feller, John Marston. And my folks, eh? You had your feet up the whole time, playing sick, and fondling that new scar like you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. Plus, I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for rescuing them. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah, takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now, in the gunner's sea. <laughs> Back in business, boys. <laughs> you know, my dad always used to say... Not the dog, no, please. Not this oh. again. Fine. Damn you three. Sulky, angry, scarface. They're left here. Towards roads. Now, I was saying... A right barrel of laughs. So, we got the tracks with the wagon dead jumping. That's the plan. Pretty much. Charles, you deal with the engineer. John, secure the passenger car fast, take charitable donations, and make sure everyone behaves. Little Mr. McGuire, you focus on the baggage car. Grab any valuables you can find. Shoot your mouth, get a bullet back. So, what are you doing? I'll run point. Keep an eye out for outriders, the law, and help you three where I can. All right for something. Sherry picking, I call that. We'll be out in the middle of nowhere, so it'll take a while for any word to get to the law. But we should still move quick. Oi, oi, Scarface. Oh, shut up, please. Close, Marshal. We're at the railroad. Just carry on a bit further. wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this right, nobody needs to die here. Yeah, yeah.
Yeah. Mr. Marsh. Mr. Smith. Mr. McGuire. Yeah. Get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. I'll do what I with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. Taking a look yet? Probably something in here, Arthur. Last chance of hitting someone. <laughs> Very funny. We're looking good in here. Take that. 
decent stuff. Arthur, we've got a problem. There's two arseholes on horses. How many you say? I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, we're fighting. Austin, Smith, get ready. You men come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way neither you get killed. Goddamn liberties. Eh? There's a few more of them torn up. Damn my big mouth. Okay. Let's deal with them. Well, check the Fun boys, real fun. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. Shut <laughs> up. At least we made some money. Now yeah, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big tank. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Yeah. Whoa! Easy. Yes? Can I help you? Hey! Ah, oh, ah! God! <sighs> Hello, chum. Chum? Do you want an autograph? Or a photograph? I'm sorry? People often get nervous, but there's really no need to. I I'm just a, just a normal guy who, well, happens to be very famous. Okay. Who are you? Jeremy Gill! Who? 
the famous fisherman. I've written a lot of books. I'm in the newspaper all the time. Here's one from the New Hanover Gazette from a few years back. And this is a book I wrote. Huh? I wrote it. Good for you. You really don't know who I am? I... Oh, well. Nice to meet you. You too, Arthur. Sure you don't want a photo? Uh, not right now. Oh. You know, mothers, they often offer me their daughters. Just for a photograph? <laughs> no, to marry. But I say no. I'm married to the fish. Huh. So you're famous for fishing? Very. And that pays well? Uh, pretty well. What I mostly do is send fans stuffed fish. Stuffed fish? Yeah. Here, let me show you. Come with me. <laughs> and you're selling these? Yes. How many do you want? If you get three, we could do a photograph. Together. Like actual friends. No, I'm fine. It's, it's sort of ridiculous. Listen, jump. People love it. And I could sell even more fish if I add them. <laughs> it helps them to know that out there, there's some man fighting with Neptune on a daily basis and winning. Okay. But I can't catch enough of them. And there's really good money in this. I'll fish a little. You do? Well, in that case, send them to me. Uh, of course, uh, not if they're too rotten. Do you like that bass? I'd sell this for $50. I'd give you 15 Send you fish. Ooh, my card and a map. Well, maybe a shell. <laughs> Only the decent ones. They have to be at least 24 inches in length and 10 pounds in weight. No one wants to imagine Jeremy Gill catching a tiddler. There's no money in tiddlers. So I hear. Good girl.
They got Bill. What? Who has him? Bounty men. I found their cam nearby. They got Bill tied up. I'm gonna go take care of it. Come on. Oh, sloppy Bill. Yeah, well. All right. Lead the way. So how'd you find him? You said he was going hunting? Never returned. I was able to track the tracers pretty easily. But only a matter of time before they decide to pick up camp and head for town to collect the bounty. Guess we're inside again. When are we not, Arthur? Fair point. What'll Dutch do? Ain't for me to say. Doubt Bill will like it, whatever it is. He's a problem. We all know it. Is that for me to say? Here they are, on foot from here. you fellers for this well I'm gonna head back to camp find a bottle and nurse these bruises yeah I'm headed to camp as well thanks Arthur
Excuse me, partner. Just calm down. Get along. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Morgan, I'm sorry, my, my nerves. I'm not quite the outdoor adventurer I thought. This is God's own country, and I feel I'm in purgatory. I know the feeling. No, I hope not. What you trying to take some pictures of, huh? Some more greedy coyotes? No, wolves. Wolves? Well, you really are trying to get yourself eaten. Oh, I hope not. I left the meat over there. Thought I'd be safe, given the wind. Yeah, sure. You managed to attract the world's least intelligent wolf. Well, I... I... I'll stay with you a while. If anything comes, I'll protect you as needed. You are a gentleman. Now, you don't know me very well. well. To me, you're a gentleman. Usually, I'm worse than the wolves. You had many dealings with wolves, Mr. Morgan? Sure. But you've never been eaten. Not through lack of trying on their part. A while back, I helped a friend from getting devoured. Usually, they are not great fans of man. Don't blame them. Me neither. Hey, shh. Here's one. Looks like we got company. Yes, yes, there they are. In the trees. Now, don't do anything. I'm going to take a few photographs. Come on. Come on. Good boys. Hungry boys. Come on. Stay back. Stay back. Can't have a man in the frame. They'd think it's staged. Yeah, sort of is. Look at them. Magnificent creatures. Especially when clawing at your eyeballs. Come on. Stay still, my beauties. Oh, my. They don't seem to be fans of modern technology. On the other hand, looks like they may be fans of you. from the door distance flashed before my eyes yeah they can be pretty aggressive what a way to literally a dog's dinner still worse things happen at sea do they well i imagine perhaps wolves do better at sea are they good swimmers well who knows you have saved my poor foolish skin once again don't mention it well I can't begin to repay my debt of gratitude, but no, I am eternally in your debt. I do, Mr. Mason, I do. You take care now. And you too, sir. Ah, just checking this equipment. If only my hands weren't shaking quite so much. You're a collector of pelts. Hmm. I hope only in cases of self-defense. I'll be some time working on the mechanism. Good day to you, sir, and Godspeed. Come on.
Give us a little bit more time here. I ain't no miracle worker. <laughs> that you ain't. All right, then. Hi there, mister. Good morning, mister. Get some distance. Hey, mister. Morning, sir. Hey, Arthur. Good to see you. Why? You want rescuing again, do you? <laughs> no. I got a plan to make it up to you. A oh, plan like the Blackwater Ferry job, or like you going off scouting and ending up in jail? <laughs> Dutch said you was a, a big shadow cast by a tiny tree. I don't even know what that means. Mm, I thought you was a tough boy. <laughs> Not one of those gentlemen. <laughs> trying to protect his riding clothes. Well, I just know whenever things get real, you turn yellow and lose your head. Yellow? Sure seems that way. So I guess you won't be riding with me to rob the banking coach comes about this time in the strawberry. I heard one of the O'Driscoll boys yapping about it while I was inside. You and me? Do a robbery? That's what I said, didn't I? After you. <laughs> There's a spot up this way with a good view of the trail. Okay, my girl. What are you doing anyway, camping out here like some crazy hermit? Can't exactly stay in town now, can I? Like I told you, I ain't going back to Dutch without a peace offering. So what's the deal with this coach? What do you mean? Comes through about this time every day, like I said, the end. I mean... How many men? Guns? Riders? Nothing serious. It'll be fine. I heard the bank's been hiring every trigger man they can get of late. The meaner, the better. You worry too much. Forgive me if I ain't wholly faithful in something an old Driscoll told you when you was half drunk in a jail cell. He kept yapping about it, saying how they've been hitting it on the regular. That's a good lead in my book. Damn old Triscolls are everywhere now. Bastards got a hold of most of Big Valley. Heard they took over some big ranch north of here. How the hell you and Lenny end up down here, anyway? Oh, you know how it is? A few loose ends, drink here, drink there. What loose ends? Nothing that needs to concern you. I always pay my share. It concerns me when you put us in danger and we don't realize till it's too late. Like that move you pulled in Strawberry. Making me kill half the town just for your precious guns. Precious they are. You need to roll a little looser, Morgan. Looser? I've seen you come full undone more than once now. And you've only been running with us a few months. Are we gonna rob this coach or bicker about it? What's done is done. Guess we're robbing him. Then let's do it.
the spot. Hold up on this ridge. Hold. They should be here in a little bit. Hold tight. Which way will they be coming in? Should be from over there. We need to hit them fast before they get into town. Just don't lose your head this time. Of course, tough guy. <sighs> they should be here any minute. <laughs> Look, there they are. Right on time. Get covered up. Come on! <laughs> right! Yeah. now it's just you and me sweetheart i'll give it to them they put up half a fight at least yeah hey luck come on boy mm. here find new rifle too you go arthur from me to you that's more your style than mine What did I tell you? Like licking butter off a knife. Something like that. You don't want to just break it open here and be done with it. Could be more than we can carry. And there might be a second crew of riders tailing. All right, then. Not to mention, we ride back in with a big take, a new wagon to boot. Dutch can't say we ain't pulling our weight no more. Damn shit! Now we're being robbed! Get across the river! What the hell? Come on, Arthur, get out of there! You dumb bastards! Damn, you okay?
show them. Why is it every job I do with you ends in a pile of dead bodies? Since when did you have a problem killing O'Driscoll's? Huh, huh. You've got a point. Let's strip this coach, then. It clearly ain't going nowhere now. Let's take what we can and get the hell out of here. That lock should shoot off easy enough. I'll give you the honors. On account of, well, this little mess. You shoot, I can do it. Come on, let's see if all this was worth it. All I see is you, me, a river full of dead O'Driscolls, and a lockbox. I'd say we're golden here, Morgan. Look at that. What's the cut here? It's good. Just make sure the gang gets its piece. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, big shadow, tiny tree. And like I said, that still don't mean nothing. Get out of here. Go see Dutch. Make sure you ain't followed. I know, boss. I know. It's been fun.
there. Hey there! Morning, mister. Take a look. Oh, you got something for me? Pick this up off the street, no doubt. Hmm. Come across a few of these myself. Done. Much appreciated. Well, Looking to get something put together, huh? Thanks for your assistance. Mister. Ready for a clean slate? Thanks, mister. Yep. Okay, then.
Talk for a minute. Calm down. Come on, let's go. Get yourself off my ranch now. Char is just too much fun. You're just too easy to rile up. Faster! Move! Karen. Hi, Arthur. Hey there. Hi there, Arthur.
Hey there, folks. Hi, Arthur. Hello. Hey, Dutch. Oh, it's good to have Micah back again, huh? I ain't so sure about that. Okay, I'll catch you later, then. Okay, Arthur. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Thank you. Don't worry about it, Reverend. I made a fool of myself again. We've all done that, Reverend. This is Bitterly ashamed. Really, I am. Well, I should get back to it. I can't. It's okay, Ma. I hear you saved Mr. Know, Bell from a hanging. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, I suppose he'd do the same for you. Exactly. We're all in this together, Mr. Morgan. I know you know that. Of course, Miss Grimshaw. <laughs> Arthur, <laughs> just had a few dollars. I could clothe my son. <laughs> John's useless, and I... <laughs> I, I don't know. Here, I got a little. Well, five, dude. <laughs> you lovely man. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks again for coming fishing with me. I wish those mean men hadn't ruined it. Oh, don't worry about them, okay? All right, well, I should be getting on. No, 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 definitely Bye -bye. not. Well, let me tell you, if you were my boss, I'd never laugh again. It's not a word of advice. Bring me something soon if you can, Arthur. Right. It wouldn't be a laughing matter. This will help the stoop. Good job, Mr. Arthur. Fine, Mary Beth. You see that, Mary Gillis? Sure. I saw her. Get over her, Arthur. Oh, it was all a long time ago. Oh. This isn't bad. I hope so. Anyway, I won't disturb you. All right. Always good to see you. Evening, Arthur. How are you? Not good. Evening, Arthur. Good evening.
mister. Hello. Gentlemen. How you doing, friend? Fine looking animal you got there, my friend. Thanks. You done good, girl. Mister? Even mister. Sheets to the wind, I reckon. Yeah, what is that thing they're smoking anyway? Beats me. Sure don't look like tobacco. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Well, let's see. I am gloriously fuddled now. I feel so light and heavy at the same time. Have I told you what an amazing woman you yeah, are? I love birds. Oh, but yeah. you are. Let us be free and wild and bad, my dear. Let us make love. Like love has never been made before. Uh, uh, let me take you to the clouds. not cause no more shit around here. Hard. <laughs> nice to see some friendly faces around here. Anyway, folks, please don't mind me. Hey, mister. Hello. Hey, fellas. Hey there. Parker. Warner. Howdy. He's the one. Just That's wish today was over already. So, feeling better? How's the scar? I healed pretty fast. Lucky you. So you just lazing about, or you got any leads? I got something. You see them? Sure. Well, you see yourself as a shepherd now? <laughs> Maybe. Come on. Well, where exactly are we going? <whistles> Collect something. Help us get some sheep. Uh, you know, that attempt to seem all enigmatic and interesting, that might work for Dutch, but for you, it just makes you look stupid. Come along. You'll see. That train job was a start, but we need more money. Until we can get back to Blackwater and collect. I'm here to tell you. If we try to collect that money anytime soon, it'll come with a noose. I was worried you'd say that. Dutch says that we... Dutch says a lot. That's his gift. Saying things. Oh, yeah? What do you mean by that? I was a prize pony once. Now I'm the workhorse. Listen, Dutch is... But... But, well, you was at that thing in Blackwater. We already seen Pinkerton's here. 
New centuries coming. This life, this way, well, we're the last, I reckon. And we ain't long for it. Then that's the way it goes, I guess. For me, yes. All right. So where are we going? Just need to pick up something. There's a hitching post over there. Tether the horse and I'll meet you across the street. I already don't like how this is going. Morning, sir. There, girl. I can't prove it, but the bank's stealing my money. I swear, every time I walk out of Gun store. Yep. Can you uh head in, pick up the sniper rifle? I'll explain later. Don't you wear yourself out now. Oh well, hello again. How can I help you today? Looking for a rifle? Something with a sight on it. Shouldn't be a problem. You wanna see what we've got? It's all in the catalog here. Sure. Let's go. Been a while, girl. Why couldn't you have done that? Done what? Bought that gun. I had a run in with that fella earlier. We ain't on the best of terms. You had a run in. I've had a run in with half that town. Calm down. It's done now, ain't it? Why are you being so cagey about all this? Always playing some goddamn game. Me? I ain't the one taking Jack on fishing trips. No, you ain't. If you say the boy ain't yours, what's the difference? You probably only run off again. Why are you so interested in my life? Ain't you got one of your own? Just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once, that's all I'm saying. It ain't that simple. You know that as well as anyone. 
Same as with you and that girl. What was her name? Mary? That was different. No, it ain't. Just the same. Anyway, for the love of God, will you tell me what you got me doing here before I turn around and hit the breeze? There's a herd of sheep coming down to auction from Emerald Branch. Folk in town were saying the owner's trying to stamp out every farm from here to Ansburg. Yeah, I know that place. Go, go! Head up to the ridge up there. Get a proper view. <laughs> so I'm thinking that the herd will make it to auction all right, but a couple of new ranch hands will be collected on the sale. Doubt the town will care to notice too much. Why we need this rifle you couldn't buy yourself. Reckon we shouldn't get too close. At least not till we know what we're dealing with. Let's see what we can see from up here. Okay, I think that's them over there. The one now? Put a shot in near them. I reckon they'll hightail it. They're only ranch hands. Just watch it. Well, looks like one of them don't scare too easy. Put another shot in close. He'll get the message. Let's go round them up. Let's go get the strays. You ever work on a ranch, Marston? No. You? Oh, day here, there, but not much. Most cowboys I know are dumb as trees. How hard can it be? I guess we'll soon find out. Let's get these things. Bring them back to the yards. They're pretty scattered. Let's get them all rounded up. Go, go! There we go. your mouth. You know what? Marston, why don't you leave the sheep to me? You ride Shank, keep watch for any trouble. I brought you in on this. It'll be quicker this way. Trust me. This ain't the right time for you to be learning how to hurt. All right, whatever you say. I'm done arguing. Watch them runners! Yeah. Quickest route back to Valentine is right around that mountain. 
Okay. Like I said, I'll handle this. Whoa. Yeah. Making next week's auction at this rate. Those are up, boys. There you go. Fine sheep. They're okay. Well, you seem better around here? I've seen ones with less ambiguity about their provenance. <laughs> A lot less. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say you give me 25% kickback, and I won't say nothing to nobody. Everything all right here? Excuse me? Sure. I'll excuse you. For 25 percent. Do you want me to put another hole in your head? Folks swing for rustling livestock. 25 percent. 15. 20. 18. Done. Calm yourself, friend. Just think of it as I'm buying your sins. Uh, you're buying. But we're paying. Go on now. Come back after the auction. You'll get your money. Dutch is waiting for us at the saloon. He is? Eighteen percent. I thought we was doing the robbing here. Still good money. Well, thanks for all the help with this. Can't herd, can't swim. Give it a rest, will you? We ain't kids no more. No, never really was. Oh, okay then, girl. Come on. 
going, sunshine. I'll buy you a whiskey. After you, sir. Well, I have never been a man for compromising, and I fear at my age I am too old to... Uh, gentlemen. Dutch, Nepo. Where have you been? Working. Marston's thing. Good. And? We're just waiting to get some pay on a few sheep. Leopold, my good friend, as long as you're here, why don't you and John go make sure there ain't no funny business? Of course. Gentlemen. Drink? Sure. <clears throat> Nothing like talking to old Strauss to make you want to blow your own brains out. I should have left him where I found him all those years ago, bookish little Austrian, fresh off the boat, his eyes out on stalks. Well, I guess the Dutch Vanderlyn finishing school has some strange graduates. That it does. To your good health. Thank you. My name is Leviticus Cornwall. I am not a man to be messed with by the likes of you. Get out here before I have these men killed. What do you think? Get out here, well, I... you depraved piece of trash. You start spinning a yarn. When I think the moment's you right, I'll make a move. I got where I am by letting Scott watch you rob from me. Deal with this nonsense. Please, gentlemen, this is a terrible mistake. This is a case of mistaken identity. What is worse than admonishing a man for the sins of another? Who wants to be the Messiah? Not...
Nobody's following us. We'll get back to camp. We're gonna gather the troops and get them to start packing up. Ugh. Sure. We can't stick around after this. Let's go! <laughs> Easy now. Hey there, fella. Hey there, partner.
ser el último. Damn good shooting, señor. Thank God for you, mister. Le debo la vida. Good luck with it. Qué alivio. Hope you've been good out there. Hello, Arthur. Did good, girl. Hey. So, keep heading east. Is that the plan? For now. And when do we stop? When we reach Paris? Well, that'd be nice. Join the commune. We stop when we find some place sensible. Shake them that's following us and lie low. This is lying low? You turned into a bunch of killers. I mean it. We ain't even got the delusion of being anything but a bunch of killers. So, we moving? Yeah. We are just trying to survive, Hosea. We don't have a choice. This will end soon. Damn right it will. Constipated as usual. Micah told me of a place we can lie low. Look here. Dewberry Creek, he said. Okay. Maybe you and Charles can go take a look, clear off anyone you find before the whole lot of us move in looking so conspicuous. And how are we gonna do that? I don't know. Start dancing? Looks like I turned into a goddamn errand boy. You have turned into my son. You worry because I worry. We are just the same. Hey, Charles, come on. I need you for something. Now, where have I heard that before? Easy. Spoken a Dutch since you got back? Yes, Morgan. So where cleared. are we going? Find a new on. spot to camp. We're packing up and moving on. Again? We have to. Fast. We'd already pushed our luck too far before that mess we just made in Valentine. Ah, uh, that didn't sound good. Uh, killed a lot of law. Killed a lot of Cornwall's men. They must know where we are by now. So, we're heading south? Yeah. Area called Dewberry Creek. Dutch wants us to give it a look. Make sure it's clear and a good place to lie low for a while. I've only known him a few months, but the way he talks, I never thought I'd see him wanting to head south. Right. And I know by now, there ain't no lying low. There's too many of us for that. And there ain't no way Dutch is gonna just hide away in a cave somewhere. Goes against everything he stands for. That'd be admitting we're nothing more than low-down criminals. Which we are. You don't have to tell me. So where does it end? Where does what end? Moving, running. Dutch don't see it as rough. You call it what you want. I don't know. Before, put enough time and distance between you and the problem, eventually it went away. I mean, this is a big country. But now, now, hang on a second. I think that must be it up ahead, the old dried up creek. 
Seems very open. Yeah, it does. Ain't sure to be the best in the rain, neither. Well, let's take a look around. Hey, I see something over there. You see it? Someone on the ground there. Been shot. Looks like trouble got here before us. Hmm. There's a camp just up ahead. Sure. Let's get ready for business. Any issues? Shoot first, debate, sir. Survival's for the sake of it. Quit talking. You started it. Look, here it is. A few tents, but the place looks empty. Let's have a look around and make sure. everybody maybe they heard us come be careful and yeah, being careful Okay. You come out of there. You okay? You don't mean no harm. He said, are you okay? Sprechen Sie Deutsch? German? No. Now go on. Get out of here. Go. We need the land. Go. Get the hell out of they here. They took our father. Who did? Men. Last night. Where? Where did they take him? They ain't no business of ours. I don't even speak their language. You ain't as tough and dense as all that. Come on, Arthur. The girl was pointing this way. Let's see if we can pick up a trail. There. Tracks. Come on. I don't see nothing. Hoof marks. This way. What's going on with you? What do you mean? You were just gonna send that woman and her children on their way? We're wanted, man. We got Pinkertons braiding down our necks. We should be moving camp, not running off on some wild goose chase. Come on, Arthur. That's not how you are. Well, maybe you don't know me as well as you think you do. Wait a second. Just want to look closer here. Looks like they go down this way. So, what happened with those Pinkertons anyway? When you were fishing with Jack? Said they were on to us. Offered me freedom if I turned Dutch here. They picked the wrong man there. We should have moved right then, if you ask me. Bastards told me they killed Mac. Said it right in front of Jack. Hold up. Let me check this.
continues along the shore here. Like you were saying before, uh, that kid, it's gonna be tough for him. Yeah, but he has more folk looking out for him than most of the rest of us had growing up. Said he was going back to the auction yard to collect the money for those sheep. He'd be a damn idiot going anywhere near that town right now. Huh? He reckoned he'd be able to slip in and out. Oh, well. If it's John's idea, it must be a good one. What is it with you and him? Oh, uh, he disappeared on us for a while. When Jack was real young. A long while. A year or more. Wait, just... Let me make sure this is right. They carry on along this trail. Anyway, you were saying. You did? And we was family, you know? Guess I still ain't fully forgiven him for that. Yeah. There, girl. There's a camp up ahead. Be careful. Easy. Seems deserted. Let's take a look. I don't know. But you know something? This is a better camp spot than back there. Much easier to defend. Maybe. There he is. Quick. Cut him free and let's get out of here. Are you gonna cut the ropes or me? what they've left behind for us. It's okay. Getting you out of here. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Yeah, okay. Hey, you wait there a second. Charles, go find Dutch. Get the caravan to divert here. This spot should work for us. I agree. What the hell did you do to those fellers? Wie bitte? Those men back there, why did they take you? Geld, money. Meiner Familie gehört eine Goldmine. Sie wollen Lösegeld erpressen. How did someone even come up with them words? Sie bringen mich zu meiner Familie? Vielen Dank. 
Wie haben Sie sie gefunden? Uh, I'm sorry, friend. I can barely speak English. Ja. Im Herrgott sei Dank. Schatz! Oh. Andreas, Andreas, ich hab gedacht, du seist tot. Beinahe wärst du gewesen, meine Lieblinge, meine Herz allerliebst. Oh, wie wunderbar. Oh. Sie sind ein großer Mann. Ja. Ein großer Mann. Ja, wirklich. Es ist ein Segen, dass Thanks. wir sie getroffen haben. Come on, get out of here, this place ain't safe. Get out of here! Ja, ja, Vamos. das ist wahr. Vamos. Uh, ich hab was für Sie. Einen Moment. Uh, um, Dankeschön. Thank you. Vielen Dank, herzlichen Dank. Guess it was a pleasure. Ja! Oh, this place. Oh, it'll be perfect for us. Hello, Arthur. Dutch. <clears throat> Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, put everyone to work. Make this place a home. Well, I don't know where the hell we are, but we are going to make the best of it. You behaving there, O'Driscoll? I'm not no Driscoll, sir. Sure. <laughs> How are the horses? Okay. Uh, I mean, well, but they could be better. I'm worried. They, they, they've been through a lot. If I had some burdock root, just a couple, uh, I could knock up a poultice, could keep them well, and cure some ailments. Burdock root? Yes, yes, that, 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 that works best. Okay. If I see some, I'll bring it you. Well, thank you, sir. <clears throat> Here's some of that burdock fruit you wanted. Oh, you actually... Well, thank you. This will make a good batch, all right? Okay. There's plenty of bad things that we've all forgotten about. Don't take Dutch's patter about redemption too seriously. We're doomed. 
just like every other creature on this rock. But unlike them, we'll go down fighting. Is that what you believe? I don't know, son. I don't know what I'd believe. Apart from wishing I wasn't gonna find out sooner than I'd like.